G'day guys, Brad from Hazen Steering, Bill Stein Suspension. Basically, for the last few weeks, we've had this super light SLC in at our workshop. The customer originally came to us uh, with concerns about the geometry of the car. After it was set up, it's a full tube chassis, it's a, basically a kit car from the United States. And he wanted to take it out on the track and do some serious track work in it. Um, he'd been reading online on the forums, they had some bad bump steer issues, some people unsure about the rear knuckle set up on them and things like that. So engineers went over it, measured everything, ran through all the angles, uh, wheel alignment angles, everything like that. Um, basically got it set up. We took it out to Eastern Creek on the track, got our pro driver Nathan Antunes to drive it to get some feedback about what he thought of the setup. I thought the car was pretty good, but it was the dampening just wasn't correct. And no matter what we did with the adjustment on the shock absorbers, we couldn't get the car quite right. So, you know, he spoke to the customer, he decided, let's go down the road of building some Bilstein MDS uh, modular dampening system coilovers for the car. After we got back from the track and decided to go ahead with the build, we pulled all the standard shock absorbers, so coilovers off it, and dynoed them to compare what we saw on a graph to what Nathan was saying about what the car was doing on the track, to try and figure out where we can make this car better and make the feel of the car a lot better. Um, we found, basically, the the shock, as soon as it starts to move, was just solid. Like the rate did not change no matter how you, what you did with it. And it's just, that's not real good on a racetrack because it's going to move the body of the car around too much and throw you offline everywhere you go. So we, our engineers basically put something together that they thought would work, that they thought would feel good on a track with enough bump and rebound adjustment to fine tune for different tracks, no matter where he's going. And then a spring rate that suits both the street driving this car as well as track driving. Uh, obviously now the car is going to be a bit more track focused, it's going to be getting a bit more of a workout. So we added some cooling to it. The car has a LS3 out of a Commodore basically in the back of it uh, with a bigger cam and different intake system and all that. It makes around 500 horsepower. Um, LS3s get hot on a track so we put uh, we did a big oil cooler system in it and then it's linked up, the LS3 is mounted the other way around in this to a Ford GT40 Ricardo six-speed transmission. So we hooked up an uh, oil cooler to that as well, just to keep the whole thing running nice and cool. This car had some good natural venting in it, but it didn't seem to be going anywhere. So we made the most of it and mounted the engine oil cooler right here with some big venting going in from the side of the body. As you can see, the car has a pushrod suspension set up in here, so the wheel travels sent down there by the bell crank here and height adjustment is done through this arm here, not like a conventional coilover. Right, so with the Bilstein MDS suspension you've got two separate adjustments, you've got red for rebound, blue for bump, each of those adjustments has 10 different settings in it, so all up there's around 100 different configurations for each corner of the car depending what you want to do with it and what track you're on. Now that we've completed the work, we're going to take the car out to Sydney Motorsport Park and get Nathan Antunes to take it for a spin and see how it goes. Hopefully we can get and set some form of an impressive lap time with the car and go from there.